we're back again for another Tweak Town video review and today we're looking at the Patriot Gearbox NAS adapter. You get a look at the package here. Inside we'll have a look around the back. There's just some details on the product. Uh, you get a couple pictures here. It does come in a black or a white color you can choose. So let's open up this package now and uh, get a look inside. First of all you notice it comes with a Decent, decent uh, plastic packaging. You don't have to cut it open like some of the other annoying uh, products we look at. So that's the device there itself. We'll put that to the side for now. And we'll open up this here. And that looks like the power adapter there with some Chinese on there. Some documentation and a CD. A little network cable. And that's all in the package there. So we'll put that to the side. First of all, uh, we've got the Patriot uh, Gearbox uh, CD, uh, which comes with the disc search utility, driver, manual on there. And here is a basic little user guide. It's only really one page, so you, obviously it's not going to be too hard to set up there. You get a look at some of the um, specifications of the product, and that's about it. That's the user guide, so it shouldn't be too hard to set up. Uh, we've got a Ethernet cable here. Let's unwind it. So as you can see here, we've got a Cat5e cable, so it's capable of uh, gigabit ethernet, even though this device actually only supports uh, 100 megabit. Okay, in here we have the power adapter, so let's get you a look at that. It's just a basic power adapter. Now, as always, what we look at, uh, yes, 100 to 240 volts, if you can see that. So this baby will work anywhere around the world, and that's a good sign of a uh, good product. If you find a product that's either you know, only 100 or 240 volts or somewhere in between, only one or the other, it's usually a sign of a product that's not very good. Uh, also here, what's handy and what's good to see is a couple uh, USB uh, cables. Now one is uh, this sort, you can see here, and one is a sort of a mini uh, USB 2 connector. So you plug that into the device and uh, you know, depending on what uh, what type of connection the, your device uses, you've got some good support there if you're not only plugging in a uh, USB pen drive. Okay, now let's get to the device itself. Comes in this little plastic uh, cover there. And here we go, this is a look at the Patriot Gearbox. As we mentioned before, this is the black version of course. It also comes in a white version. So on the top here you get the, the logo, Gearbox, looks kind of nice. Sort of a solid uh, plastic finish, as you can see here. Patriot logo here, that lights up blue when it's plugged on. And it looks like a power indicator here. Oh, that's like maybe a reset switch here. We'll have a look at that a bit later. Uh, now, this is your Ethernet port here. Unfortunately, it's not uh, gigabit. It's uh, 10100 uh, Ethernet. There's the power input here on the back. Not too much, just probably the serial number there and the barcode. Now, on this side, uh, there are two USB uh, 2.0 ports. So that's a look at the device there. Very small. You can see it sitting on my hand. It's not big at all. So let's go over some of the detailed product specs here. Of course, the product name and the, and the part number, you get a look there. The description, it is a, it is a small NAS device, 10100. Um, you've got some certification and safety, safety standards here. It does come with one year warranty. You look at the dimensions there, uh, retail box packaging, the weight, well, 62 grams, very light. Okay, coming down to the actual features now, you get a look here, as we've mentioned, uh, two USB ports. We've also got a print server functionality, which will be interesting, something we'll have a closer look at later. Uh, 10 100 megabit uh, Ethernet, so it's not uh, gigabit. But it is still 100 megabit, so it should be fast enough for your USB uh, 2 devices. Peer-to-peer -peer torrent support, we're going to have to look at that a bit later. Universal plug-and-play support, FTP support, iTunes server feature, and now it works. And it looks like it's been tested in uh, Windows 2000, XP, Vista, and uh, Windows 7. Alright, as you can see here, we've got the gearbox plugged in, uh, we've got the power plugged in, and uh, the Ethernet cable plugged in. Um, and you can see, nice blue light here. There's also a blue light on this side. Um, and it gives you the lights are flashing here to indicate network activity. So let's get a device hooked in here. And then um, what we'll do is we'll show you the uh, control panel 
of the gearbox and uh, get a close look at some of the features and then have a look at the performance of the device. As you can see here, we've run the search disk utility that's provided by Patriot and you, you can see here that it has detected the device with an IP there ending 193. You can see the name of the device and in the work group. So this is a very basic utility. All it does is it shows you the IP so you can enter that into your browser and then get into the control panel which we're going to have a look at right now. Let's okay, go. as you can see here, we've entered the IP address here, and what we need to do is enter in the default username and password, which is admin admin. Uh, so, a quick remember our details. It logs in really quick here, so you can have a look at all the details here. You can see the system information, the network information, system information, disk information. We don't have any plugged in at the moment. So, that was the status. Let's go to the IP config. You can see that. Uh, we have it set as an automatic IP using uh, DHCP maintenance. Uh, you can update your firmware, reboot the device. Uh, over down the bottom here, you can restore the uh, factory default if something goes wrong. First of all, we've got the SMB server option. Now, this is basically the username and password you need to access the gearbox over your network. So by default, it comes with the username of a guest and you don't need to enter a password. And you have read write access as you can see here. If you like, you can set up another one uh, only with read access, read only access, uh, but we'll keep it like that. Now, the FTP server again, it comes with a server um, built in. Uh, you can modify it here and you can create um, the folders that uh, the FTP client has access to. You can set up a password, read only, read write. You can set the FTP port 21 as standard. If you do want to allow people to access your FTP server through the gearbox online, you'll need to set up port forwarding in your router, um, but that's not too hard. Uh, now we go to the Bit BitTorrent area, and you can see here where is it going to download to uh, the admin admin folder or the public folder. Set up your server port here again in your router. You will need to set up port forwarding. You can set upload limits and download limits. Also, mail notification once one is finished. So basically, you get your torrent file that you get from any website. I wouldn't know, of course. Uh, you browse for it, then you upload here, and when it's downloading, you'll see it coming down here. Now, the printer, um, we've actually had a couple issues getting our HP uh, printer to detect by the gearbox. We're not sure exactly which printers are supported. Ours is not not a common one, so it could be a, could be a problem there. So unfortunately, we can't show you the printer server side of it. Now, the media server. So basically, this uh, this will determine which uh, which files and which directories are shared. So we've got a sharing list here, public, uh, so that everyone can access it for photos, music, and video. Uh, now, disk utility here, you can format the drive. Uh, you can set when it goes to sleep if you want to shut it down. Now, uh, disk uh, disk uh, scan here will start it. Uh, you can see here it's just asking if you want to continue. And it starts a bit of a scan and it sort of shows us what's what's happening on the drive. So if we go up to status here, uh, you can see here, this is the disk information. Uh, we've just got an 8 gig uh, flash drive actually. And in interestingly, what we've done is we've hooked the, um, the SD flash card into a, a USB 2 card reader. So this device will also support card readers. So you could theoretically hook up more than one, uh, one, one flash or one hard drive onto this device. Uh, so yeah, that's a look at the web-based interface. Um, it's quite basic, but you know, again, we are we are pretty impressed um, by by the features here. It's more than we thought. One thing we do want to show you here is this is storage uh, 10B5. That is the NAS, uh, Patriot NAS gearbox. So we've already entered our password. Um, actually, there is no password. You just put in the username of guest and keep that blank. And there's, this folder is actually empty here, but this is um, accessing the NAS gearbox. So for the files here, so you can see on the Windows 7 here, it does come under your list of uh, network computers in this case, networked uh, devices. Uh, so let's have a look at the performance, the performance. now. So we've got uh, a TV episode here, and now this is the NAS device here. Uh, you can see here, that's the device here. So let's right click and paste here. 
and we'll get a look at the uh, coffee time. It is 100 megabit, um, and we are copying to a flash um, device. So you can get a look at the performance here. It's about, uh, you know, I guess around uh, three to four megabytes per second. It is, of course, Windows time. It's not complete, completely accurate. But this just shows that this device is not a speedster. Um, you know, if you're expecting really ultra fast performance, this is not the device. Okay, that same file that we were copying from our PC to the Patriot NAS gearbox has finished copying. So now let's try copying it back. What we'll do is we'll just copy it to our uh, desktop here. And let's have a look at the performance. So let's copy it here. Now we're going from the NAS device to our computer. Now straight away here, we see a big um, improvement in performance. Uh, on the uh, coffee performance before, we saw around 4 megabytes per second. But once we're moving the file back to our computer, we see around, what are we at, between 7 and 8 megabytes per second. So again, it's not a speedster, this device, but of course, we're seeing a marked improvement here almost double performance copying the files back so you know if you are setting this device up in your house and you've got people copying back and forth uh, 8 megabytes per second is not great you know you don't want to be copying too many 1 gigabyte files um, but you know it's acceptable I guess you know a couple minutes to copy a 1 gig file not great but uh, so as you workable. can see here we've mapped the uh, Patriot uh, gearbox to our computer and we've copied some different uh, media files here this is just to see how we go with uh, media streaming from the device first of all we'll show you SD quality so we've got Home and Away here which is an Australian uh, TV show and as you can see here the playback is completely smooth no problems at all here uh, now what we'll do is we'll move up to uh, 720p quality. Now this is Underbelly 2, another Australian TV show recorded in uh, 720p. So let's have a look at that. Again, running from the NAS uh, gearbox. And as you can see here again, playback perfectly smooth. Going through the video to different areas. Um, it's not too bad, the quality is rather good. Now it's smooth when we get to the playback. No problems at all. Okay, now 1080p, we've got a rounders uh, sample here. Uh, so let's have a look at the playback here of 1080p and see how we go. Of course our PC is perfectly capable of uh, 1080p playback. And as you can see here, again, no problems at all. It's very smooth, so the NAS uh, gearbox from Patriot is uh, working rather well. A little bit of time there when we're skipping through, um, but once it does start playing, perfectly smooth and it looks good. So the NAS gearbox for you know standard definition up to 1080p uh, streaming from the device, no problems. So we've got the NAS gearbox up here. The files are copying at the moment. We've got this uh, Kingston USB card reader with an 8 gig uh, SD card in here. You can see the. Um, the USB um, light here is flashing to show that it's copying. But unfortunately on the gearbox, um, we would like to see this Patriot light flashing to show uh, read and write um, accessing on the device, but unfortunately it doesn't do it. But this small little device here you can see here, it's sitting on our HP printer, uh, plugged into our network. Not a bad one, not quite a bad one. It'll cost you around 50 US dollars. Um, it is a basic NAS device. You know, you can get NAS devices now that cost uh, upwards of two or three thousand US dollars. So we've looked, and this one cost you around fifty US dollars. It is only ten one hundred Ethernet. Um, we would like to see a gigabit uh, version in the future, possibly even with USB three, and you can really, you'd re really better see the good numbers, performance numbers. This has been Cameron for Tweaktown, looking at the Patriot gearbox. Look just below the video, and you will see our product summary of the device. Come back again soon for more video content.